Hi everyone, Miss Amy here from the Brookline Public Library. I'm the children's librarian. And I just wanted to share with you a juvenile trilogy that we have that I read recently that I really, really loved. Um, it's called The 60s Trilogy. It's by Deborah Wiles. It's a historical fiction trilogy that takes place during the 1960s. The books are a little on the thicker side, which I know can seem intimidating, but um, the reason for that is because each of the books contains real life photographs and newspaper clippings and quotes from politicians and famous people and speeches that were given at the time. So those are uh, interspersed throughout the book and they're really interesting to check out. So the first book is called Countdown. It's about an 11 year old girl named Franny. She lives in Maryland with her mom and her dad, her siblings and an uncle. Uh, her life seems pretty normal. Her dad is a military pilot. Her brother, her little brother is obsessed with space. She thinks it's super annoying. He talks about it all the time. She has a big sister, Joellen, who she loves and adores, but Joellen has just started college and has started to become a little bit more withdrawn and secretive, which Franny finds to be very suspicious. Um, her uncle is, is suffering from PTSD and he starts to do things like try to build a bomb shelter in their backyard, which she finds to be very, very embarrassing when the neighbors um, catch on. She's also dealing with some issues with her best friend who's being a little bit mean to her right now. So her life seems pretty normal, uh, but the story takes place during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. And so with that comes a lot of extra stress because her dad is a military pilot and during school they have to do things like air raid drills where they, where they have to do something called duck and cover. Um, so if you don't know much about what happened during the Cuban Missile Crisis, this is an interesting chance to learn a little bit more about it. Our second book is called Revolution. Um, this one takes place in 1964 in Greenwood, Mississippi during what was called Freedom Summer, um, which was when there were a lot of people who went to the South to try to register black people to vote. And they set up organizations down there um, to try to advance those interests. And it caused a lot of problems initially. Um, so in Greenwood, Mississippi, we have Sunny, who is 12 years old. Her father recently remarried. So she has a stepbrother who's her age and a little stepsister. And then her stepmother is going to have a new baby. So Sunny is dealing with confusion about whatever happened with her own mother, um, which she doesn't really know the full story there, and figuring out what is going on in her small town in the South that she always thought was just a happy place. Um, she encounters a young black boy named Ray who gets involved in the um, integration and civil rights movement at the time down there, and he runs into some trouble. And so we hear a little bit from both of their sides of the story exactly what it was like to be in the South when that was going on. And Sunny also encounters Joellen from our previous book, Countdown, who is down in Greenwood helping with the protests and voter registration. And then we have our third book, Anthem, which takes place in 1969 and talks about the um, Vietnam War protests and the hippie movement. Uh, we have two main characters in this one as well, Molly, who's 14, um, and Norman, who's 17. They're cousins, and they embark on a cross-country road trip from their South Carolina home to uh, California to try to find Molly's brother, Barry. Barry uh, left home a year ago because he disagreed with his father about the Vietnam War, and he has recently received a draft notice to his house. So he's supposed to report. So Molly and Norman's moms send them, at the ages of 14 and 17, across country to try to retrieve Barry. And along the way, they encounter some interesting figures, some really fun ones, uh, some famous musicians at the time, Dwayne Allman and Elvis. They stay for a little while on a commune in New Mexico. Um, so yeah, just like the other ones, some really important historical information for the time period. So they're all a really they all have really great stories and have really unique opportunities to learn about some important, significant historical moments in our history. 
So if you like historical fiction, I recommend you check them out.